Guys, we're here at Russell Bash 2 with a champion. So many championships. He also wins his titles. Owen Hart champion, women's champion. It's Will Nightingale. How are you? Doing dandy. Yeah, how are you? I'm doing great. Sit so here next to you. You have this beautiful championship. Let's talk about it for a second. What did it mean to win the Owen Hart uh, championship champ title? Um, so this is obviously the name Owen Hart, yeah. the Hart name itself. Both of these are like so uh, highly regarded in professional wrestling. And uh, personally, uh, when I finally did win the Owen Hart tournament, I was like, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not partic particularly like a technical wrestler, which I think is really what comes to mind when you think of like the Hart name um, and Owen. But a lot of people kind of brought to my attention the spirit that I have and just like the genuine nature, the kind-hearted person that I am really rings true to the spirit of Owen Hart and what it means to be the Owen Hart Cup winner. So it's something I do not take lightly. It is like a very, very um, close to my heart kind of honor and privilege to have this because this has 2023 on it, which means it will be mine forever. Forever and ever. Uh, and Forever I'm, and ever. Yeah, That's very, great. very grateful. I love it. I love it. And you had such a, a really great match recently at Ring of Honor. It was in the main event. You versus Athena for the title. And, like, she's over there. And it should be your belt. I see it over there. It should be yours. But what did it mean to you to main event a Ring of Honor pay-per-view? It would be, like, two black women main eventing yeah. a pay-per-view. Um, so, luckily, we're, we're kind of in these days where firsts like this are less and less, yeah. which is, like, it's cool to still be in a in a first time kind of situation like that, um, but it also means a lot to me to be in a time like I said where it's a lot more commonplace for women to be main eventing or main eventing pay per view shows and to be able to do it with someone like Athena, who I think is if not the best, one of the best women we have in our division in women's wrestling in wrestling, uh, really. Um, I think she's amazing. She's scary. She's very scary. Yeah, um, she is. But to be able to do that with someone like her is uh, probably one of the most special moments of my career thus sure. far. And uh, it was in Trenton, so it's not far from home for me. So mm -hmm. my mom, my dad, my aunt and cousin were able to come out, which makes it that much more special. Yeah. And I didn't walk out the winner that one, but like walking through the curtain after and having like a sigh of like, I did it. That was crazy in history making. Um, it was, it was lovely. It was a really beautiful moment in my life, not just my career, but like in my life. Yeah. I love it. I love it so much. And is there a championship right now in AEW slash Ring of Honor that you're looking to like really go after? I mean, you have the Ring of Honor Women's title, the women, uh, Women's World title, TBS title. Which one piques your interest? You know, I really, when I first started, I had it in my head that I wanted to be like the first, like triple women's champ. I wanted to have the Ring of Honor, I wanted to have the TBS, and wanted to have the world title. And it kind of felt like, you know, I'd, I'd start with the Ring of Honor, because that, that's really where I started. That's like kind of what brought me to Tony's attention was my work in Ring of Honor. It's the thing I, I, it keeps evading me, the Ring of Honor Women's Championship. Um, the TBS title, I'm really, I love Statlander. I've known her pretty much since the beginning of our careers, both Long Island girls. Yeah. So I want to see her have a nice lengthy reign with that. Um, but like, if, if I were put in the position where I had the opportunity to wrestle her, of course I wouldn't take that off her. But personally, I'm really gunning. I'm gunning for the big kahuna. Um, she does her second reign. Girl, I still need to get my first. So um, that's that's where my eyes are personally, yeah. uh, and that's like the standard that I keep myself to. It's like, uh, what am I doing to get better? What do I need to be like the world champion? Like in my head, that is the standard that I need to be at. Sure. And I'll get there. I'll get there. So it's gonna happen. It's we just gonna gotta happen. we gotta keep working, keep hustling, keep grinding. In due time. In due time. In due time, we'll get there. And like, I know they can't see this, but over there is a picture of you with the New Japan Women's Strong Championship. Yes. You won it for Mercedes Monet. It was an insane match. I loved it so much. Would you ever want to see Mercedes come to AEW? If that's what she would want to do and she would want to be a part of our, our team, I'd love that. I think she's undoubtedly an amazing performer. Um, one of the, I think, pivotal people in creating women's wrestling to be in the space that it is today. Um, 
there's no denying just how prolific she is and the star power she brings. And I think she would be a great, a great fit for our team. Um, but the world is her oyster, is. and she's really proved that uh, going out on her own in uh, finding so much success in New Japan. Um, I do wish her well. I hope she's healing up good. But whatever she wants to do, she's she's got it. Last two questions for you, Willow. He has a great move set. The pounce. Perfect move. Love it. Thank I saw you take an independent show against Mr. Grimm. I've never seen you take the pounce before. What did it feel like to take that kind of move? It sucks. I was like, the moment I took it, I was like, oh, I'm doing this to people all the time. <laughs> like, sorry, not sorry, but like, oh, I, it was, it was intense. Yeah, it looked like it hurt a lot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I guess I'll move into my final question. You're such a nice person. I think you hear that. You probably hear that a lot. But I just want to say it again. You are extremely nice. Wow. Who, who in your life made you this way? Like, you're such a nice person. I was very fortunate to have the family that I do. Uh, both of my parents um, are kind people themselves. But they raised us in a household. Because I, I have two sisters and a brother. So we were kind of all brought up in this household that's like, Family is the most important thing because, like, no matter what you go through in life, those are the people that are going to be there for you at the end of the day. And not everybody has a family like that. I understand that, like, that doesn't ring true for everyone. But for us, it really does. And so at the heart of it, um, it's just, like, growing up with so much love in my life. I know it. I appreciate it. I have so much gratitude for it. I want other people to feel that and understand it and love it. Um, so, like my mom always said, do what you can, when you can, for as long as you can. And I try to help people out as long as I have it within me, too. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Last quick fire question. Who walks out of All In as AEW Women's World Champion? Ooh, I'm, I'm putting my money on Cheetah. Cheetah? Okay. Put my money on Cheetah. Cheetah. There you go. Great answer, great answer. Willow, can, where can they find you on social media if they're not already following you? At Willow Wrestles on Twitter. Uh, excuse me. X. Uh, Instagram, threads, which I don't really use very much, and TikTok, which I also don't use very much. But I will still be on it. Oh, Willow on threads. It's a great app. It's we okay. all still use it. All seven active of all our followers yeah. still use it. I love it so much. Willow, thank you so much. Thanks so much, brother. I appreciate it. <laughs>